it's important to realize that Japanese Americans at this time were interned, but not one incident involving a Japanese American was reported. Japanese people, Japanese Americans are very humble, very modest, and uh, you know they, they don't really um, no talk about things unless they're really asked. I feel that this project really affects everyone on a human level. The recent movement came from an assemblyman, uh, Warren Furatani from Los Angeles, who passed legislation called AB 37, which is uh, known as the uh, Nisei College Diploma Project. Primarily is to, to right a wrong that happened uh, nearly 70 years ago when um, Nisei, second generation Japanese Americans, who were attending college, uh, were evacuated by Executive Order 9066. So when the U.S. government said, uh, you have 48 hours to pack up what you can carry in your hands, and for some people that was a baby in one arm, and so they can only carry a bag in the other, uh, they had to scatter and uh, um, get on trains. I think what has affected me the most is thinking about how, um, what a profound effect it has had on these people who were young at the time and now some of them are in their late 80s and you can tell that this very significant point in their lives has affected them for the rest of it. And so that's all that we really had was this number 224. But we didn't have any names so we really had to populate that list from, uh, from ground zero. So it was a very uh, uh, tedious task and, and uh, Kim Goff, who unfortunately was sick today, um, really did all the legwork in, in finding the names. But since then we've said, hey, you know, I was at SAC Junior College at that time. We received phone calls and other people were asking, hey, how come this name's not on there? And as we searched even more, we, uh, we learned, yeah, your name was left off. Many of them are so grateful for what we are doing right now that it feels like even after so many years, there's just no... It's always worth it to do a good thing, to right a wrong. It doesn't matter how late it's been, although I wish that this had never happened, of course. But it's good to know that, you know, nearly 70, 70 years later, it's still it's still worth it to, um, to write this wrong. It's probably one of the most significant projects I've worked on in my, in my entire career. Uh, some of it is, is uh, you know, because there's so much history and I've learned so much in talking to people who have called uh, either their relatives or Niseis themselves who um, really have a lot to say. And I, I don't think that they've really had the opportunity to do so. But there is another uh, significance in that my dad is an honoree. And I knew that he attended SAC Junior College, but I wasn't real sure when. And so I had just happened to ask him, uh, you know, is there a Meraki on there? And she goes, oh yeah, there is a Meraki, a Tom Meraki. I go, wow, that's my father. And so, uh, in the process, you know, I, I've, I've learned something, you know, about my own family. And, uh, and, and so that, that, that made it very personal also. Yeah. I feel that this project really affects everyone on a human level. Um, I'm not of Japanese-American descent. I'm actually not American. I'm French. And even then, I feel that this, this story can speak to anyone because we're looking at a people, a bright people who was taken from where they belong and taken somewhere else. And I feel that um, I feel that everyone can understand this type of loss. So yes, on a human level, I feel like I, I am affected. And also, having had a chance to um, interact and speak to some of the Nisei students, um, their story is amazing. There's no way that you cannot be touched by the things they say. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I think it's going to be a great day. Uh, 
I think we're going to have uh, something about uh, a dozen of the actual Nisei uh, participate and then somewhere around 35 families uh, who are going to be honoring their, their parents and, and picking up their diplomas. So uh, I think it's going to be a great day. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it.